Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is HP Deskjet 2721A. This printer is multifunctional printer, it's multi-tax 3-in-1 in the sense you can copy, scan and print from this printer. I'm going to show you how to scan a document from this printer, okay, using a mobile device. This printer is connected to my mobile device and it's connected to the same network, okay. Check my video, you see how we connected this printer to send to Wi-Fi network. What I want to do is to show you how to scan a document. We're going to scan this document. To scan the document, open up the scanner, stick the document you want to scan face down, close it. Now go to the app, HP Smart App, select printer scanner. Okay. And the printer scanner is ready. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to select the paper size, page size. If you are using different paper, then you need to select, if you are using letter, 5x7, 4x6, 3.5 by 5, okay, or A4, then you need to select, so what we selected now is A4 paper, okay, then you go back, source is glass scanner, resolution, select resolution, the maximum you can do resolution is 300 dpi with mobile phone, at the moment it's in 200 dpi, okay, and color, you can select color or black at the moment is in color okay then select go back again select start scan now this document is scanning Okay, you can see the document to scan. Now the next you need to do is select next. If you're happy with it, then you select next. Next. Okay. And now, if you want to scan another document, to scan the second document, open up the scanner, remove this, and stick the second document you want to scan on top of the scanner. Close it. Okay. Now go to the app select add on top add okay do the same thing select scan i also want to mention if you want to scan photo then you need to select photo if you want to scan document you need to select document so we are scanning document okay select scan Here we go. So the second document we scan is here. Okay. So you can also make sure that it's full. Okay. If you have it auto, you can make sure that it's full. Okay. Once you are ready, select next. Okay. And this is the first and second document we scan. So this is the document we scan. Now, if you want to print this document out, you can also print it out. You can also share this document. You can save. So, so many things you can do with this document, okay? Select print to print it out. Okay. Now, you select how many copies. Page range, color, orientation. If you want more, select more setting. Select quality and scaling, then go back. Select print. This is the first one. This is the second one. Okay. So this is the document we scan. <coughs> Printed it out. Now, and we also show you on the app that our printing job is on the way. Okay. S start saving, not now. Okay. So the next thing to do is this document, ideally, when you scan the document, you need to save it, okay, for you to be able to print it. So now, because we didn't save this document, so we'll scan it again. 
So let's scan. Okay, make sure you have it full. Okay, select next. Okay, and remove this document. Stick the second one you want to scan on top. Close it. S select add. Scan again. Okay, select full, click next. Okay, this is the first and second one. So we printed this document out. What I want to show you is to save this document, select save. Okay, you save this document, you can have the, you can add your name or anything you like to be able to remember. Click save. And this document now is saved. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is to share this document okay via email select share okay select share also make sure before you share the document make sure you select pdf okay so that is and also sharing the file you can ask, you can share the actual size or reduce it okay can the actual size is 0 0.6 mb you can have it medium to reduce it click share now I give you option to share this via several platforms, email, WhatsApp, Yahoo Mail. So I'm going to share this via Outlook email. Okay, this document now is attached to my inbox. Okay, I'm going to type the email address of the person I want to send it to. I want to send this back to myself. Click send. Click OK. So this document now is sent to myself. Okay, pretty much our job is done here. The next thing we need to do is we need to go back. Okay, so you go to the in, yeah, inbox. Okay, go to the inbox and wait for this document we, we sent to my, the inbox. Here we go. This is the document. Okay, this note to self. This is the document sent to my inbox. Click it open. This is the document to scan and send to my inbox. Okay, so if you're happy with this tutorial, please do consider to subscribe. It helps the channel. So we have been able to scan this document, printed it out, share and save. Okay, thank you. If you want, I also want to mention if you want to know the document where the document you save, you go to your file, go to your phone, my file. Okay, go to the documents. Okay, and select this is the document, open it up. Okay, so this is the document we save. Okay, you can also check, you can use the date, or it will also tell you the particular time or the date you save the document. So, this is how it works. You just need to go to your file, okay, go to the file and check the document you save where you save it. And this is the document here. Okay, thank you very much. This is HP Desjet 2620. This printer now is connected to Wi Fi network and also with my laptop. What I want to do is to show you how to scan document with this printer to scan your document from this HP printer to computer. Stick the document you want to scan face down and close it from the hp smart app select scan and when you select scan then the next thing to do you need to select from the setting the source is glass scan and advanced preset you need to select if it's photo document 
or book or id card what you want to scan is document and also scan area is a4 if you want to scan the entire area then you select specific one letter four by six five by seven what you want to scan is a4 now output the next we want to do is we want to scan the output as color okay so scan the output as color and resolution the next you scroll down and select the maximum resolution is 1200 dpi when using your computer so i want to leave it at the moment is in 300 dpi then the next to do is for you to select scan or select preview if you select preview it give you option for you to see if you select preview for instance it give you option for you to see the document you are scanning what it will look like so this document now is scanning okay now this is the document we scan okay this is the document to scan now so if you're happy with it or if you want to select to scan entire area then you select and scan entire area okay sometimes uh, if you select to scan a4 it will only scan a4 if you want to select entire area is a lot bigger so select scan Okay, this is the document we scan. If you want to scan another one, okay, what you need to do is you remove this document and stick the second one. So you put the second document you want to scan on top of the glass scanner, face down and close it. Now select add. Okay, if you look on top, you will see add. So select add. Okay, when you select add. It will give you option to do the same thing again so you select scan select the entire area and select scan so now this document is scanning the second page okay so this is the document we scan okay and i'm happy with it if you want to print this document out okay what you need to do you need to select print when you select print this document and give it some time for this document to be ready then also you need to make sure you select correct printer which is hp desj 2700 2600 series so scroll down for the printer list then you select the correct one and if you're happy from the list now the other thing is in terms of orientation so we want this to be in portrait okay and you can see it's in portrait now also paper size is a4 paper okay so any particular paper you want to use you can scroll down and select any particular paper you want to print this document from so what you want to do is to print this from a4 now and also scroll select photo size okay you can see full page now select layout one photo per page or multiple photo per page you can select one photo per page or multiple photo per page for instance and also scroll down okay you can also select more settings you can select more settings if you select more settings for you to change see paper size a4 plain paper main source print quality normal and print in grayscale or color is in colored and also you can see portrait now in this where this is where you print it on both side okay print on the other side so you can select print on both side manually you can select flip over select yes to print on both side okay and select print so select OK, and once you select all the stuff you, you need to select, select, select print. Now this document, we're going to print it on both sides. 
And when printing on both sides, it's something that I want to show you. Once you print this document, print okay, we need to go put the other document back inside to print on the second page. Okay, you can see this is the document we printed out. Sometimes I do receive questions from people when you scan the document, okay, and want to print it out. Some pe person have received message that the document they, they scan shrink. So you need to make sure you print on full page or full surface for you to get this in large format. If you scan this document and want to print it on Air Force, sometimes it's shorter. So you need to make sure you select print, scan the full page for this document to scan. Now the next, the next thing I want to show you is, now this document you printed out, okay, to print the second page, you need to turn it the other way around, upside down, okay, to turn it, okay, so this is the one who printed out, so turn it, uh, put it back inside this, the paper tray, okay, so put it back inside the paper tray, and select select continue to to be able to print the second page okay and now the second page is printing So this is the document we printed out, we scanned and printed it out, double-sided, okay? So this where you save paper. Some printers, you do this, we do this automatically for you, but sometimes you need to do this by yourself, okay? This printer is using your computer, you need to do this by yourself manually, okay? So now we scanned document, printed it out, double-sided. The other thing I want to show you is how to save this document. To save this document, you need to select save, okay? Select save to save this document and it will ask you where do you want to save this document. Basic PDF, then you select basic PDF, click save. This document now is going to save in my document, then you, you can type something to remember it, okay? So you type something to remember, click save, and this document, you can see the file has been saved. Now, the other thing I want to show you is how to share this document with others to share this document you need to select share button okay select share image and it will ask you how do you want to share this basic pdf pdf select share it will give you an option to share this via email so i'm attached to my email and this document now is attached to my email i'm going to put send this back to myself so, so you type the email address of the person you want to send this to click send so you type the sub type the subject and also type your email here okay then click send now this document is sending to my inbox and it's sent now so pretty much our job is done the only thing to do is for you to see this document we sent to my inbox you just need to go to the inbox and wait for this document to arrive here we go you can see the document just arrived here here it is okay you can select on it now click it open this is the document sent inside my inbox if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it helps the channel